So a technique that I really love to use is merging two pieces of amigurumi together. Um, merging, at least in my little world, is when you take two pieces and you're going to use all of these stitches and all of these stitches to make one big round and this piece will turn into one lar larger piece. Um, I like to use this technique a lot for um, bird feet. You'll see a lot of my patterns kind of look like this and then you work them all together and make the rest of the foot. Um, it's a great way to have seamless um, legs on things like teddy bears or bottom-up projects and it looks really nice. So to get started you're gonna make your foot that is loose and I just tie this off and then stuff the tail down on the inside. Um, if you don't tie this off it will get really loose when you work into this stitch so you're gonna want to tie it off at least or even weave in your ends if you want to. And then this one is still has our working yarn attached. So we're actually going to use the working yarn on this piece to attach it to this piece. So we're gonna pick up our working yarn and this is super simple. It just, sometimes you have to see it. So all we're gonna do is work into that first stitch on the other side, on the other piece, and then work all the way around. So in this case, we'll work 12 stitches around. You're gonna to wanna to count on these because that will prevent you from working into the back side of this stitch and making them be too many stitches or skipping this stitch when you come back around. So we're on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we've come back around. Now we're going to work, make sure that you're not working in the stitch that this one came out of. And the easiest way to see that's to turn it over. You can see this is where our last stitch was. So when we go back to the other side where we were working, we do not want to work into this stitch because that is actually not the first stitch on this side. It's this one. So we're going to just work 12 stitches around the starting piece. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now your last round attaches your two pieces together. You might have a little hole here, which you can sew up later on, but I like to just go sew them up after the fact. So just to show you how this is gonna meld together, I'm gonna do one round even and it will have 24 stitches because each of my pieces has 12 stitches on it and we have combined them into one piece. Okie doke, and you can see now how we have our round that's nice and even and then our two, let's just call them like disembodied feet or something, yay, um, that we're putting together into one piece. So that's how you combine two pieces. So then let's say you want to attach three toes together in a line so that they will look like this. And then that way you will have all your stitches on them, but you'll have a long piece with three toes sticking off of it, like a lot of the bird feet are in a lot of my patterns. Well, in order to do that, we have this middle toe and we're not going to work all the way around it because we're gonna need to work halfway across it and then all the way around this one and then across the other side of this and then all the way around this one. So to do that, we're gonna use that tail and that starting piece and we're going to work six stitches, which is halfway around on the middle piece. 
So two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to work all 12 of them around the other end piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. And then we're going to work six on the other side of our middle piece. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to work our 12 stitches on our starting toe. One, two, sorry, I automatically assume these are toes, our starting piece. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you can see now we have merged these three pieces and they have one round holding them all together. So now you can taper these in or you can go up and make like a three-legged monster or what I like to do is taper them in and then put another branch off here and those are my bird feet and so there's another great way this is merging um, two pieces or in this case merging three pieces of Amigurumi.